Okay, so one of the more um, interesting AI tools out there for programming is a new tool out there called, well, it's relatively new. It's called Cursor. And uh, if you use Cursor, and um, if even if you use the free license version, you get n number of um, AI prompts for free. And after you exhaust those AI prompts, then you will be asked to pay for a paid, paid license. So I have a pro license here. So what I'm gonna do is quickly demonstrate how um, using cursor can help some easy to medium or even difficult task. But for now, I'll just show an example of a simple task. So here I'm going to set up a new project. So I'm going to first open up the command line here, set up a directory. So I'm gonna say, who am I get? And I say, uh, Java, let's say create sam sample Java project, okay? And I'm gonna change directory there. And since I have cursor set up on the command line. So I'm going to open up a new cursor window there like this. <clears throat> so now um, I, I'm running within that specific directory and I have this chat window open. So I'm going to say here, um, create a Java program with a main function that will um, read through a text file containing num uh, loading point numbers, calculate the average, I think I'll just say calculate the average for now, calculate the average and display the result. Generate a sample test file for this program. You just write it all in English like this. So here it's actually provided a sample of this project here. And it's explaining what it has done. And it actually provided a sample of some of these values. So you scroll up and then look at what it's saying here. Create a sample with floating numbers, calculate the average, and display the results. Okay. And here's the sample data. Um, what it's going to do is take a file path as a command line argument, read the file line by line, blah, blah, blah. And then this is how you would run it. So I could take each file and um, do an accept, or I can just say accept all. So I'm just going to say accept all. So if I expand this window more and look at what it generated for me, I can see the sample code here and it put it into a um, package. It shows me an error. So let's see what we can do about taking care of this error. So what we're going to do is open up a command line on the bottom copy, we can um, copy and paste this into our command line, or we can just say run command. So what is it doing here? Let's successfully run and calculate the average. So here, you can see the actual output here. But we can do is um, copy this to our clipboard. Paste it here. there as well. So um, this might be just a red herring of an error. So here is the sample data and here is the generated code. So what it's doing is just um, here when we launch the, the compiler, here, here is where we are compiling and then um, with the and and we are doing multiple commands through an invocation 
And then here, what we're doing is we are running the program and then specifying the input file here on the command line. Okay, so it's actually passing the name of the file through this args. It's actually getting to that file path on the args and then passing it into our program to read. Okay. So this is a good demonstration of using um, a, an AI tool like Cursor for, um, for generating some simple code. And um, in this case, it did a pretty good job of um, generating code, but you need to be as specific as possible in the prompt.